Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, Chair of this committee. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of this committee. We have present today Council Members Gibson, Barron, Deutsch, Chair Kalos, Kuhl, Levin, Torres, Traeger, Barry Grudenchik, uh, the Chair Adams, Chair Moya, and Rivera. <laughs> um, we, also, we also shall, have- Shall we get into it? We also have uh, Council Member Powers, who's present, thank you. Today we'll be voting on four projects referred out of the zoning and planning subcommittees. We'll vote to approve LUs 312, an application by Carries Hospitality, LLC, DBA, Elder Green, for a revocable consent to maintain, operate, and use an unenclosed sidewalk cafe at 160 Franklin Street in Council Member Levin's district in Brooklyn. The applicant has agreed to reduce the size of the proposed cafe in order to address community concerns. We will be voting to approve LUs 310 and 311, Waterside Plaza, an application to facilitate the preservation of 325 affordable housing units at 10, 20, 25, 30, and 40, Waterside Plaza in Manhattan in Council Member Powell's district. HPD is requesting approval of a disposition of city-owned property and amendment to the Waterside Urban Renewal plan for an additional 47 years for a total unexpired term of 99 year term extending to 2116. Upon approval, HPD will enter into a new ground lease with the owner. The terms of the ground lease will preserve residential affordability by incorporating rent freezes, rent reductions, and limits on rent increases for the affected tenants. We will also be voting to approve LUs 313, 4697 Third Avenue, a UDAP application filed by the HPD. This disposition of two city-owned vacant lots will facilitate the development of a new mixed-use eight-story building providing 52 units of affordable housing in Council Member Torres' district in the Bronx. This project will be developed under the HPD Ella project, and 15% of the units will be reserved for formerly homeless households. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? I see Council Member Powers. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. Thank you, members of the Land Use Committee for affording me an opportunity to speak on the application before you today for Waterside Plaza. Waterside Plaza is a neighborhood located in my district that is a former Michelama that exited the program in 2001. When they exited, like many Michelamas, they were left with a question about what would be the long-term affordability of the plaza and the people that live there. Um, unfortunately, they were not subject to rent regulation, rent stabilization because of the year and a quirk in the law that made it so that they would have to go into a settling agreement with the owner and to uh, have high increases year after year. That has left us in the year 2018 or 2019, I guess now, uh, with very high rents in a neighborhood that was built to be an affordable neighborhood and built to be a long-term community uh, that many of us aspire we could still build here in New York City. Um, so with the, with the partnership of the owner there, which is our former Lieutenant Governor Dick Ravitch, with the Tenants Association, with HPD, and with the uh, fellow elected officials that share this community, we have spent the last year negotiating to do an affordability deal, he deal here to lower the rents, to freeze some rents, and to address both the long-term affordability by putting 75 years of affordability into, this, into Waterside, but also addressing the tenants that live there today and making their rents more affordable and making many of the residents who are seniors look at this as their, their home for years ahead. Um, in that last year, we have been going back and forth, but I have to say that today I sit here very happy with the deal that we have come to and very pleased. I think it sets a model for other affordable housing deals, especially those that can do both the immediacy of the tenants that live there, but also the long-term affordability. So I'm very happy that we have come to a resolution and come to an agreement on this, uh, this deal. I want to thank, although they're not here today, they've been to many of our hearings, uh, I want to thank all the tenants who came out and advocated for themselves. They came to city planning hearings, to my town hall with the mayor. They've been here in this chamber as well. I want to thank all of the staff here who have helped us and answered questions. I want to thank my staff as well. I want to thank the uh, tenants at Waterside, the leadership, but also Dick Ravitch, uh, the uh, former lieutenant governor who built this property. And I said this in an article about it, but I will say it again, is 
rarely do you have somebody who is civic minded as the landlord and the property owner of a property. That makes it incredibly easier to do a deal when you talk about real people's lives and not and putting people before other considerations. So I'm very grateful to the team at Waterside as well for that. Um, with all that being said, I, I urge your support of it and I thank you to the subcommittee chair, Councilmember Kalos, and all of those who came to the hearing. And I want to apologize to Councilmember Torres as well. I held him up from an application in his district with all my tenants who came. Um, so appreciative of him giving us a little bit of his time as well. Um, so thank you and I urge your support of it today. Thank you. Congratulations, um, Councilmember uh, Powers. Uh, um, Councilmember Torres, you want to speak on your project? No extensive comments except to say um, I've been inspired by your leadership in increasing the number of units that we specifically set aside for homeless families. So the 15% was a direct result of your advocacy. So I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Torres. I will now call a vote in accordance with recommendations of the local members and the subcommittee. So approves LUs 310, 311, 312, and 313. Will the clerk please call the roll? Matthew DeStefano, committee clerk, committee on land use. Roll call vote on the aforementioned LUs with accompanying resolutions. Chair Salamanca. Aye on all. Kalos. Aye on all. Gibson. Aye on all. Barron. Constantinidis. Aye on all. Deutsch. Aye on all. Kuh. Aye on all. Levin. Aye. Torres. Aye on all. Traeger. Aye. Grodenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye on all. Diaz. Yes, I'm here. Aye on all. Want to recognize that Councilmember Diaz uh, uh, has arrived. I on all. <coughs> Moya. I on all. Rivera. Aye. By a vote of 15 in affirmative, is there any negative and no abstentions? The land use items have been adopted. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for 10 minutes. Thank you. <laughs>